Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another star studded episode of Turmoil number 244. And what better way to get the stars out at night than <laughs> just in Hollywood Jest versus in Esports. I'm in the booth here, Angus. You all know me. You all know my broadcast partner today, Adam. Take us away, Adam. How you doing? It is great to be back. I feel like this might become an ongoing thing. What do you think about that, Angus? Well, I don't do long-term relationships, but... I will tell you, this man does. Him and Elsa have been going steady, breaking that Hollywood tradition. But right now, he's got to go steady in the ring with one of the toughest men, the current CCW heavyweight champion in escorts. One of the toughest, I think you mean to say the most dominant man in OCW at the moment. Maybe hyperbole, maybe not. He is the champion, so he can definitely back that up. Yep, Jess will definitely be facing upward. He'll in this challenge tonight, but look at this man. He is a self-made Hollywood star. Who cares that most of his flicks have gone straight to DVD? He is the star. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, strong words. I, confidence is definitely one of his best aspects. He never really gives up. You know, he's always willing to get back up and fight again. You know, he's been a main event sport. He took a tough loss to Antonio Everett, but he came back as strong as ever. And it seems like he's someone who's really on the upswing these days. And that was a beautiful entrance montage video. This is what happens when you're champion. More funding, more money, you get the good stuff. Absolutely. And here he comes with that gold wrapped proudly around his shoulder. Certainly another man not lacking in confidence at all. Angus, I, are you getting some weird interference right now? I honestly, I, I thought that was something else, so I wasn't gonna say anything about it. But yeah, it's like angry demonic bees are screaming in my ear. I feel I like had to we, turn my headset down. We, we need to. Production's got to get on this. Something's going on here. But you know what? We're professionals, so we're still calling this match, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the air. We are not leaving you, regardless if your eardrums begin to bleed or not. It sounds like someone didn't clean their PlayStation disc. Anyway, talk about clean. This man, winning matches clean. Not sure about that body armor. He better take it off before the match starts or else that's not fair. But there we go. See, good man. Good man. Wrestles it clean. He wins everything 100%. Okie dokie. Just like that beautiful scoop slam. Justin just counting an attempted strike from Quartz. The Quartz punching back. You know, when we look at this matchup, when we look at how these two men go about their business in the ring, Quartz is going to want to grind you down. He's going to want to ground and pound you. How would you define how the uh, best route that Justin Jess could go about in winning tonight's match? I would say survive. You know, that's going to sound like a cop-out answer, but, you know, Quartz is one of those machines who really... He never makes big mistakes in the ring. It's something we talked about before, about the real, real main eventers around here, is they don't make mistakes. Just in jest, he's been known to make a few mistakes. Maybe not really push the advantage so much. Where Quartz is, is really, he's just a robot in there. Robot or not, uh, Justin Jess, he's looking like he's going to go for a ride, but he powers out of that, he punches him in the face, and it looks like he's going to put himself back in the driver's seat. Yeah, he might get an early on advantage. If something just really benefits from is the energy of the crowd and of his fans. He, he definitely really gets them hyped up, and he benefits from that. He gets kind of rides of momentum. And I think that's what he might have to roll on through one of those rides straight to Victory Town. You know, I was looking on the forums not too long ago, and something really... To wait for this, Tiberius mm. Dupree. Mm-hmm. I mean, they certainly got the hair to be compared to one another. But uh, more than that, you know, I, I think definitely, obviously, we can't say Jess is at his level yet. But if he if he keeps on with the path he's doing right oh. now, he's been known as a solid, consistent wrestler, you know, great charisma. The fans love him, so all he needs is to put it together in matches like this. Look, we got to stop putting over Justin Jess right now because Quartz is definitely not right now. At this moment, Quartz is taking it to Justin Jess. He's not giving him an inch to breathe. Absolutely. I mean, he's not a member of commentary. He's not a make. He's not out here to make people look good. He's out here to make people look dead. It's the corner. It's explorer suplex. Mm -hmm. There's the modified triple X there. We haven't seen one of them quite yet. Not quite giving him the uh, head bump off the turnbuckle we're used to seeing, but I'm sure it's coming sometime in this match. 
You know, that is the third time now we have seen Quartz go for that. It looks like he's trying to set up for a power bomb into the corner. He's not playing oh, yeah. fair. He's not playing nice tonight. He is looking to damage. Absolutely. A huge overhead belly to belly like that, he can. But if he lets Justin Jess, you know, power out of moves like that too much, it could be a huge mistake. He's a bit of a bigger man than Quartz has been fighting recently. And he hasn't hit one of those power bombs yet. Looks, looks like, like he tried to come off the rope. Of, uh, yeah, it looked like he ran on the gas coming off the ropes. It's honestly looking like Justin Jess might be the... Uh, and here he goes for it again. Sleeper hit here. Fourth time's the charm, maybe. Is he going to go over the ropes? No, no, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, my God. Now, that is a disgusting landing on the outside. You can hear the sick flap of flesh on those thin, thin mats over concrete. Justin Jest is really going to need to get his win back if he wants to finish this because uh, Quartz is looking to end it real soon. Look, this is how Quartz has to be now. This is the most the most amount of people I have ever seen gunning for any one title in OCW. You've got Rex. You've got Cass. You've got B-17 always hanging around. You have literally five, six men who all are making a claim for a chance at that CCW title. Quartz has got to be on the very top of his game. You're right, you're right. You have eyes in the back of your head, and even maybe his tag team partner, Russ Cole. They seem to have a solid relationship at the moment. People have planting ideas in Russ's head. You know, people have been bothering him about if he's in Quartz's shadow, so that's someone else you not have to worry about, is his tag team partner. Just with the early pin, you know, he couldn't have expected a pin there. I think he's really just trying to catch his breath at this moment. Mm -hmm. Save some time, get the offense back. It's what Jess needs. He's taking a lot of punishment on the outside. And they still got time off to show off. Mm. Still showboating. Still in this match. It's very early. Wow. I did not know. I did not know coming into this match what to expect. But I can say this. Justin Jess is hanging with him. And that surprises me. He but his He's showing uh -oh. off my, uh -oh. God, my costume. <laughs> that was close. It might be a Ooh, rare mistake. Shot. That was a rare mistake from Quartz. He did not capitalize. He did push the offense. Maybe he felt like letting Justin just have his moment before he tossed him to the outside again. Two men exchanging counters in the middle of the ring. Once again, going for those leg kicks. It's really looking like it's just in just time to shine right now. He's got the momentum. He's got the crowd on his side. They're cheering. Well, you remember at the beginning of the year, um, the, the OCW fans, they were asked, who is the most likely to break out this year? And Jess was the man that they picked. I don't think that they saw him running into that, though. No, no, let him out of that grapple. Looks like Kurtz powered out and gave him a big boot. That'll end your night right quick. You know, he had course. all that momentum on his side, but unfortunately, it seems like he just dropped the ball there, and he really needs to win this next encounter. Quartz is looking really winded right now. He might have he might have burned through his his reserves too fast in this match, looking to put away early. Absolutely, that could be an issue. Both men have very good conditioning. Both men are also on the larger side with short arm clothesline like that. Go for the pin. Excuse me if I quietly burp here, I just have a Diet Coke line. Those are sponsorship money for the night. <sighs> Angus, I've told you many, many times, but Aquafina is the way to go. It is a much healthier choice at all times. Refreshing, crisp, clean, mm, no caffeine. <laughs> well, I'm cutting, I'm cutting sugar. That's all I'm doing. These men have never seen a grain of sugar in their lives. These men have personally gone to, you know, certain countries and burn the sugar plantations in order to make sure their diet is perfect. That doesn't sound like something that Quartz would do. He must be talking about his alternate personalities at this point. Oh, and it's you two. It's you, it's you two field burning Quartz, as they call him. Managing to push off Justin Jess after taking a lot of a lot of strikes in the Ooh. corner. Oh, we know this one, that basement haymaker. According the SI-02? I've never heard anyone else call it that, but he does. And now he's looking. He's looking for the Black Phoenix. Is he going to get it? He's waiting. He's trying no. to fool Justin Jess, but Justin Jess just barely got out of Justin the time. Justin Jess. Oh, no. We've seen this before. We know where this is going. This is not go good. 
Is he going to go for that soaring Black Phoenix? This is looking very dangerous at the moment. No man That's has ever kicked out for. of this. Nope. Could it be just a jest? Could it oh be just a jest or is it going to be the end? That's, That's end, I guess. It can't be. It's a two. And it's a three, stealing the deal for an Escorts with a rather dominating victory of the Justin Jess. Once yep. again, Jess just so close to getting it, but he didn't really capitalize on his momentum. And, uh, we'll get that theme song, but it was a good victory. Nasty, nasty feedback. It's taken away from this moment, but let's, let's just appreciate it. This man is on a roll, and honestly, I don't see anyone stopping him in the future. We may be deaf, he'd have to be blind not to see the skill, not to see the power inherent in that man as he flexes for the camera, showing off that beautiful title, which will be on the line in some form or another. Road and glory. What's, what's happening? What's happening? Somebody in that truck's gonna get fired, man. I don't know if we're... Are we Union? We can't be Union. What? Oh, no. So, so, somebody's laid him out in the middle of the ring. As a talked about, could be any one of his opponents. There are so many people who could have done this. Quartz is looking battered. He's looking broken. This is I looking mention, like we're going to see something bad. The, the lights were only off for like a second, and they managed to make him bleed? Are we fighting the Flash? What's going on?